but I want to be there just to uh, witness all the cicadas because I think it's going to be one of those deals where they're just covering everything, the sides of trees, the sides of buildings, the sides of uh, everything in their path. The two broods are brood 13 with a 17-year cycle and brood 19 with a 13-year cycle. Northwest Indiana will see brood 13. However, they're only expected to emerge in three Indiana counties. So we're looking at uh, LaPorte County and we're looking at Porter County and Lake County. So not so much St. Joseph County. The cicadas are a little different than the annual variety. The regular normal annual cicadas are going to be like a more green color. These guys that look a little, little funkier, kind of dark with uh, red eyes and some orange legs and orange on their wings too. So it looks very, very different. While they look intimidating and are loud, they are harmless to humans. The only environmental concern is with young trees. The one thing to be concerned about if you have newly planted uh, young, young trees that they could lay eggs in, that could be a, a more concern. So you can get insect netting to cover those smaller trees um, if to protect them from the egg laying there. Despite the cons, there's one big plus with the large quantity. They're really actually going to be beneficial to a lot of wildlife because it's going to be a smorgasbord of lots and lots of food for every kinds of animals, whether it's reptiles and amphibians, whether it's mammals, especially birds. They're going to be gorging themselves on cicadas, I guarantee it. And actually, there are people that eat cicadas too. Thanks for watching. Here's another story you may like and subscribe to the WSBT 22 YouTube channel.